you want to drop more kills on rebirth i'm here to help you do that today we're going to break down one of my 35 kill wins i'm going to share with you guys some tips you can implement into your gameplay it's going to help you drop more kills let's get into it all right, so I'm gonna kind of let this game play. We're gonna pause it for a number of times. As you can see, we're dropping right in here to prison roof. We jump in, we're simply looking for a gun as we're flying around. We're fortunate enough right here to get the automaton. So you guys did me so right, because so right, I found that automaton. I know it's one of the best ground loots that you can find in the game. Get the first kill here and what we're doing is utilizing our mini map i'm going to talk about this a lot throughout this gameplay i'm going to also pause it a lot just to break things down for you guys but mini map utilization is so key i left my image up there or i left my face cam up there as you guys see on the left side of your screen just so you can see my eyes going to the left side of my screen so often every time after we get a kill you're going to pretty much see us peek 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 we're looking at the mini map every time and the nice thing about rebirth is every time you get a kill you can see the enemies on the mini map we're going to go ahead and focus on that a lot here one thing i also want you guys to know about your drop spot i drop prison you do not have to drop prison but wherever you drop make sure it is extremely consistent drop at the same location so you know exactly where the loot spawns are you can fly around you can disengage grab more guns or grab go to different loot spots that you know exactly where you are as you can see we get a knock right there going for the full we we're fortunate enough to get a uav we see there's one guy on the roof as well in front of us able to get a few strafes in here and let me tell you really quickly this is a secret that i do not talk about a whole lot so if you guys are able to pick this up you guys are watching this video today i guess you're just lucky but i don't talk about this a lot because it is such an op tactic i'm going to tell you guys right now about strafe aiming one thing if you're on controller aim assist is already pretty strong but what's even stronger is when you strafe the rotational aim assist gets absolutely insane so as you can see right here i have my left thumb absolutely cranked to the right side and most of the time when you see me shooting at somebody from medium to long range distance you're gonna see that thumb work left and right a lot what it does is basically the rotational aim assist is so strong that when you're strafing left or right your left analog stick is your movement stick right when you're strafing left or right the aim assist is extremely strong you're gonna see me utilize this even if this guy's on the head glitch you're gonna see me crank this left or right and as i'm strafing i'm gonna get a lot of good aim assist getting some good headshots in and downing him very fast because we're able to hit those headshots you can just see me here cranking left and right. We're able to down that first guy. We know another guy's up on the roof here. Utilizing the mini map once again, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. If you guys don't know, this is a very common thing, but if you guys don't know, if you're more of a beginner to Rebirth Island, there's up and down arrows on the mini map. As you can see right here, it's a little bit blurry, but uh, there's a down arrow over here meaning it's just the elevation of the enemy if there's no arrows above or below the enemy's dot on the radar that means they're on the same elevation as you if it's down they're obviously below you if it's above they're on the building above you so make sure you guys are keeping that in mind when you're watching you're utilizing the mini map a lot during rebirth so make sure you guys pick up on that very simple tip Go ahead and get the full here we see the guy in the background what we're going to do right here is back up a little bit and create space every time we're getting shot we are also collecting information at where the enemy is so if this guy is on the other side of the roof basically we're getting shot we didn't get shots on him because we didn't know exactly where he was we are damaged we're going to back up we're going to create space from the enemy to get those shields off to be able to re-engage with full plates now as you can see as we're plating right here moving around this guy lands on us happens all the time in rebirth what i want you guys to focus on what i want you guys to start practicing all the time when you get landed on in rebirth utilize one two movements of slide cancel or just moving back and forth because a lot of people are going to drop on you with pistols it's extremely hard to track you when you're strafing left and right with pistols so as you can see i'm going to back it up really quick right here get the full get shot up backing up creating space to get some plates off and as this guy lands on us we're going to utilize movement a little bit left and right it's going to throw him off it's so hard to track with the pistol as you can see that guy looked absolutely lost and what we're going to do is we're going to get that full we're going to look up at the mini map his teammates aren't on the roof that was a different team we know there's still a guy up on the roof so that's who we're looking for right now all right once again we see another guy luckily he was not very smart he dropped we were right in his crosshairs already we were able to take him down didn't have to take much didn't have to take much movement there and another guy lands on us. We're able to get a few knocks right now. We know if we get these full kills, we're going to be on pretty good pace right here. Get the full kill. Looking up at the mini map. Once again, we know these two guys next to us are already down, so it's not a threat. You know what? And get this reload off. Get this full kill. And we are at seven kills with 35 up. So pretty good pace here to start off the match. All right, go ahead and pick up the Owen gun right there. As you can see right there, uh, we have Automaton Owen gun, probably the most OP ground loot that you can find in the game right now. You can see me shooting at my teammate right there to get him to drop me the money so we can go get loadout. 
I also know right now, here's something I want you guys to know. I know right now my ground loot is so good. I don't necessarily need my loadout. I really don't. If you have good guns already and you want to get high kill games, pacing is extremely important. You need to be fighting people all game long. So at this point, when I don't get the money from him, I think he's just going to go buy the loadout himself, which he eventually does. I'm not too worried about that. I see people flying in. I'm going right to my next enemy. It is pacing, pacing, pacing. As long as you have full plates, ammo, and some good guns, pacing is key. Don't worry too much about loadout. That will come later in the game. You can see right here i said i think we're gonna go rogue here for a second utilize these towers right here i popped a little tower gets me a free uav as you can see up in the mini map just in the area around you i think it costs about 1500 or so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this jump spot if you guys don't know this jump spot let me help you out really quick if you guys don't know this jump spot this one's a really easy jump spot all you have to do is run up you can stop right here just jump on the right side of that awning right there and you'll be able to jump up get a knock there Jumping on different windows so these guys don't know where we're coming from. Down a second guy. See the third guy. Knock him as well. Able to clean up all three of these kills. I'm pretty pumped up right here. Let's go, man. We ain't playing around. We ain't playing around. You heard it here first. So we go ahead and use, utilize the minimap once again. We get those three kills. We see the fourth guy is very far away, which is actually a good sign. Uh, really important part about uh, Rebirth is cycling. If you want to get high kill games, you need to recycle your players. Also, another thing, I'm going to go ahead and break this down as much as I can for you guys. I really want to give you as much tips as possible. As you can see, I finally get, am able to grab my own loadout marker. I know we got one up above. But I throw it down in that window. And what's nice about throwing it down in that window, if you get it back in that corner, you can actually run up the stairs and then in this kitchen or whatever this is right here, you're able to get your loadout. All right, so my loadout, I go ahead and get the bison and a sniper right here, trying to get a snipe. A cool little jump shot on this guy. I wasn't able to get the headshot. I got a couple people once again landing in, utilizing my movement. This guy's just lucky he even got his loadout. Absolute tater tot. We're able to take him down. The other guy left. And is up. Uh, looks like he took out one of my teammates in grandma's house. All right. So we got some guys on top of prison that are shooting at us. We're just trying to re-engage once again, creating space, backing up, getting some plates off so that we can re-engage with full plates. We must have heard a guy land in here on his loadout once again. So we're searching for him. Finally able to hunt him down and get a nice little headshot off right there. Once again, utilizing minimap, as you guys can notice, every single kill that I get, you'll see me looking up to my left at the minimap every, almost every single kill, unless I'm in the mix uh, between multiple enemies. So I pretty much know where, if I get a kill, where his teammates are at. Hit a nice little snipe right there. That's also another thing that I want to talk about. Sniper loadouts are so OP on Rebirth. I don't normally run this if I was going for a high kill game on Caldera. But as you can see right there, we get a knock. We're going to go ahead and put some pressure on these guys. Top of prison. But what a sniper does is it's the only gun that you can one shot headshot somebody out of the sky. And that's what's beneficial about the sniper. Once again, we're putting pressure on these guys. We know we got one knock so that maximum there's another three people. Get another knock there. We know the guys at least we got one or two to our right side here. See another enemy. Didn't seem too concerned about me over here. Once again, utilizing that strafe left and right. You can see me moving every single shots that I'm taking right now. I'm using that strafe mechanic to get a little bit more aim assist out of the fights. Able to re-knock this guy as he self-revived. And we are flowing. Right now we got 14 with 30 up. And right after we get these few kills here, that's 15 with 29 up and 16 with 27 up. So we're really flowing right here. Once again, like I, like I said, utilizing that strafe aim. We're going to be hunting for some more guys here. Patient with the shot right there so we can secure the headshot. Missed that first one on this guy. But fortunate enough to get a nice little armor tag there and the full kill on that one. Unfortunately, that's a team wipe. That's not exactly like what you want to do. Once again, I talked about cycling a little bit, but essentially what cycling is in Rebirth, if you're going for high kill games, is you want to kill most of the team without completely wiping the team. That's why people go for a lot of high kill games in quads because... You, they know they have three team, three other teammates after you kill somebody. So as long as you're able to keep one person up, the other teammates can respond back in. Those are free kills. Every kill matters um, in this. And as you can see, we got 18 with 21 here. We're getting held on the roof. Luckily, our teammates are able to distract these guys a little bit. So I'm able to get a shot off on the back on this guy. Right now, 19 with 20 up. Unfortunately, our teammate goes down there. We got a guy down on the roof as well. I think my teammate's going to fly in and get him. Press they dialed here, chat. Got another guy flying in here. Hit a nice little snipe. Once again, the only gun that can one-shot headshot somebody out of the sky. As you guys know, there's spawn protection in Reaver, so the sniper is very fortunate. Once again, another huge snipe coming in right there. That gives me 21st kill with 21 up. Really good lobby here. As you can see, it's staying alive. We're very fortunate for this lobby, so... 
heard a guy down here get the first kill once again utilizing the mini map no guy down is down below as well and something i will focus on right here is our centering if you guys don't know what centering is it's also called crosshair placement it's basically where this white dot in the middle of your screen you can see that white dot it's always there when you are not ads the white dot in the middle of your screen you want to keep that centered around the map where you think the enemy is going to be it's also called crosshair placement like i said so as you can see right here our crosshair placement where we think the enemy is going to be we're able to get shots off even in the hip fire so when you have that that uh dot in the middle of your screen centered where do you think the enemy is, is going to be you don't have to ads before you shoot you can start pressing your trigger as soon as you see the person because as long as your crosshairs are dialed you're able to knock them even with some hip fire shots right there once again good centering there i try to run away and get shot in the back unfortunately here really heartbreaking because i had so many kills but i did have a self revive lucky enough my teammates are on top of the roof on the top of the roof of prison to cover me a little bit once again just creating space i know the guys inside the building right now here is something I really want you guys to focus on now. We're talking about mini map awareness. We talked about it a lot this game, but this is where it really comes into play. Coming up here towards end game. Luckily, I'm fortunate enough. This guy lands on me. I get the one shot snipe. And what do I do? I'm kind of looking around. I don't know where this guy is that killed us the first time and killed our teammate. So what do I do? I get that knock. And then immediately after I go for the full and look at my eyes, I immediately peek left. And what is my, what am I peeking left at? I'm peeking up at the mini map. I see there's two pings up here. Once again, seeing the up arrows, that means there's two enemies and they're both above us. Now we're gonna go ahead and hunt for those enemies. We got full plates. We know we can engage on at least one of them. And boom, right there. We see a guy flying. That means one of those guys that were above us was actually a flyer, meaning there's only one guy we need to engage. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. I know we could probably take him. So that's where we're gonna force the issue right here. Get some audio cues. Not the best shots there, but luckily our centering was able to make up for some of the lack of uh, good shots there. We're able to get the knock. Unfortunately, there's no buy station. I have a lot of money, but nowhere really to spend it. We're gonna go ahead and rotate in with the stim. Using the stim shots are huge on Rebirth Island. And as you can see right here, working with great pace. We got 26 kills with 17 up. We are feeling good, but unfortunately we still have to rotate in. This rotate is only 20 seconds. We, as you can see up there on the mini map, we gotta rotate in still, and we're probably gonna have to fight somebody. We pick up the bounty right here. And we instantly know these guys are right in the building with us and we have to rotate in the next 10 seconds. Holding the storm line. Luckily, that guy jumps out. We know there's a guy floating right to our left. Get a little movement in. Take him out. We know there's only one guy based on the minimap inside the building left. And he's already down, fortunate enough. Get the full. Now, here's what's crazy. And this is probably the biggest win and best engagement of the whole entire map. As you can see down here, well, it's kind of covered by this blue line, but I don't have any plates. I only have one plate in, um, ready to put on, but I don't currently have any plates in. So I know my health is very limited. We just had to rotate in. So as we get the full here, we get the team wipe notification. And as we're running out here, we immediately see guys behind these boxes. And that's really unfortunate because right here, ob obviously, as you can see, we only have one plate. And this is, like I said, the biggest win of the match right here. We right here. actually spotted two guys. I kind of wait for a second, get a nice little reload in. I don't think I have enough time to put a plate on, so I decide not to do that. I go ahead and let my teammate run in there. Unfortunately, this guy, I kind of use this guy as bait to see what's going on with the two enemies. That guy goes down. I go ahead and finish the guy that he was fighting right there. And boom, immediately you see my eyes go to the left. I get the full. I know there's one guy left. I have no plates. This is the biggest win of the match right here to keep us alive. I go ahead and ego chow. And what do I do? Get some good headshots on that guy. Now, this is probably, I broke this down the other day on my stream, but this is the biggest win. And the reason why is because there's a mismatch on plates. Now, most of the time, you do not want to ego chow if you guys do not have the same amount of plates. But I know this guy was pushing over. I know I pretty much had no other choice but to ego chow him, bunny hop out, and get some shots on him. Here's the thing. Mismatch in plates, meaning I have zero plates. He might, he probably has all of his plates. That's at least what I'm going to assume. The only way to make up for that mismatch is to go for headshots. Headshots with the damage multiplier really evens out the playing field in that mismatch plated situation. So I know, I'm gonna back it up one more time again. I know if I'm gonna kill this guy, I have to go for headshots and I'm already aware I have no shields. So I know that's what I'm gonna go out for right here. And sure enough, we're able to drop this guy with some headshots. Get the team wipe there. And as you can see, we got 29 with 13 up. We're feeling pretty good here. Get the revive on our teammate right before we rotate in. All right, our teammates fighting down there. He goes down. We're able to get a knock right there. Not able to get the full, unfortunately. But that knock is pretty much just enough for us to be able to get a rotate in. So that's what we're going to decide to do right here. Fly down. 
able to catch this guy off guard he's running probably back to get his teammate we're able to get the full once again looking up at the mini map we see at least there's one or two guys up above and one guy down below on our level go ahead and lay down underneath that mine if you guys have those mines go off just all you have to do is lay down to avoid some of the damage there i'm gonna go ahead and throw i was able to find a mobile buy station so i throw that down I'm waiting for that to come in. I'm kind of baiting my teammates. If they want to go, they can go ahead. I'm just waiting for the spy station. I know how important this is to get a gas mask in this situation. I have so much money. Unfortunately, I think that's the only thing I'm able to buy. I tried to get a UAV and whatnot. I self-revived, but I wasn't able to get that. My team wipes those guys. And now there's only one team left. So I'm looking up, up here, as you can see, seven people. I know I have two teammates. That makes three of us. There's four people left. It's a 3v4 situation. I see this guy right here. I'm in the storm. Unfortunately, the flinch makes me not able to hit this shot. One of my teammates goes down, so I know it's a 2v4 now. Able to take that first guy out. Unfortunately, our guy gets fooled, and then right after, our other guy goes down. So pretty much just 1v4 situation. We took out the first guy. It's a 1v3 now. I'm gonna let this play for a second. Get getting our full plates off what i was doing there i was tanking a little bit of storm so i could get fully plated i know i wasn't going to be able to take on three teammates without my full plates i know i have no extras so i'm going to go have to go balls the walls here and send it get my full plates off and then go ahead and engage with these guys i catch one of these guys rotating around luckily he didn't have any shields probably from the fight that he was just taking i break this guy's camera able to get the second knock and the very last guy i get the knock there i know there's only self revives left on the match able to clean up the self revives right there and there you have it a nice little celebration i'm freaking hyped as you guys can see i hope you guys learned something new if you guys have any questions make sure to drop them down below thank you guys so much make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new until next time we'll see you